Breaking news, my country people, these are interesting times. Now the Senate have sacked Alindumi as the chief whip and also asked him to resign from the APC. Hi guys, welcome back to Spice Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Senator Mohamed Ali Ndume Borono South has been removed as the chief whip by the Senate. The decision was supported by members of the All Progressive Congress APC Senate Caucus through a vote voice led by the Senate President Goswil Lapabio during the plenary session on Wednesday. The Borono North was, has been appointed as Alindume's re replacement, Tanua Ma Mangono. The move follows Alindume's recent criticisms of President Bola Tinibu's administration. In response, the APC national leadership, represented by the National Chairman Abdullahi Ganduji and the Secretary Ajia Bola, had urged Alindume in the later addressed to the Senate's caucus to resign from the All Progressive Congress and to join any opposition party of his choice. It was reported earlier that Senator Alin Dume, the chief whip of the Nigerian Senate, had issued a statement concerning Tinibu's government, where he noted that Tinibu's government is incompetent, is full of corrupt individuals, and decried the state of the nation. Alain Dume, during a, a, a recent interview with Arise TV program, had said the country is being held by those who are unfit to govern. Patronizing personal interests over the well-being of the nation and its citizens, and this harsh assessment highlights the deep-rooted issues and challenges facing Nigeria's political landscape. Where he said that it seems that this President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's government is run by corrupt persons, and noted that Tinubu is not even living up to the renewed hope expectations. Alindume expressed his concerns over the recent government policies, such as the cybercrime levy, which faced public opposition. Alindume had also criticized the limited access, access to the president, stating that some ministers only met the president during council meetings, and that the president is often the first to leave. And Alindume categorically stated that before Tinibu became the president, they were visiting President Bola Admet Tinibu. In fact, Tinibu, you know, used to welcome a lot of people. But ever since Tinibu became the president, when you go to the presidential villa, it's a graveyard. Everywhere is quiet because the president does not permit visitors anymore. Alain Dume had emphasized the need for the president to tap into Nigeria's resources and surround himself with competent individuals, urging him to appoint Democrats to key positions and ensure a more inclusive and effective governance, where he stressed that this will enable the president to harness the country's potential and tackle pressing challenges. So my country people, I guess Alin Dume's sack is as a result of his criticisms. So this is to show for a fact that Alin Dume is not a part of the rubber stamp Senate. Alin Dume is a man that spoke truth to power. Alin Dume definitely did something right because we know that the APC hates anything right. The APC hates anything good. Anything that will benefit Nigerians, the APC, they hate it so much with their blood. Although we know that Alin Dume, you know, has some characters and all of that, we know. But Alin Dume, for speaking the truth to power and calling out this government, deserves commendations from Nigerians. He deserves to be commended. He deserves to be commended. But you see... This APC government is fond of kicking those who criticize them. So, finally, some people are speaking up. And because he spoke the truth, they've kicked him out as the Senate chief whip. 
they've kicked him out and also told him to resign from the All Progressive Congress. So now tell me, what is the difference between Tinibu's government and the military regime? Tell me, if one cannot criticize them openly without having to pay for it, what is the difference between a military government and this Tinibu's administration? These are interesting times, though, my country people. These are interesting times. And I'm sure that 2027 will be far more interesting than this. So, my country people, what are your thoughts on this? The truth is hated, no matter where it comes from. Those that kick against the truth. Now, look at what the APC government, because... He identified Tinibu's government as government that prioritizes personal interests rather than the interests of Nigerians, a government that hates to be criticized. And in fact, my country people, there is trouble. There is trouble. It seems that the APC is staging a coup against democracy. It seems that the APC does not allow freedom of expression, freedom of speech. And now look at They've even told Alin Dume to resign from the APC. Aside kicking him out from the Senate, they've said he should resign. He can go ahead and join any other opposition party because he spoke the truth. Because he called Tinibu's government out. And Nigerian politicians disgrace. They are the biggest disgrace. This Tinibu's government, in fact, they are the biggest disgrace. So because Alin Dume, you know, spoke on behalf of Nigerians, you know, and now they decided to, 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 to sack him. You see that rubber stamp Senate President Goswila Pabio, that man, before he came into power as the Senate President, he said, oh, if the Senate President, uh, if the Senate, the 10th Senate turns into a, a rubber stamp, they should hold him responsible, this and that. Nothing, there's nothing Apabio did not say. Now, Apabio is the senior president. Instead of him to uphold democracy, instead of him to, in fact, uphold democracy in Nigeria, he is aiding the demolition of democracy in Nigeria. Because I'm sure he approved the sacking of Ali Ndume. So, my country people, this All Progressive Congress, APC, is a political party that puts the interest of themselves ahead of Nigerians. And that is the problem we are facing in this country. So guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.